Hi guys, what we've got for you today is a quick review on the latest smartphone offering from LG. Yes, LG has come up with a new smartphone. It's called the LG G Pro. Let me surprise you with the price first. It's for about 42,000 rupees. But don't let that keep you back from this phone because it's a beautifully designed phone. It's got a brilliant 5-inch full HD IPS display up front. And at the back, you get a 13 megapixel camera that is capable of doing HD video recording. Plus, in the age of unibody design smartphones, what they've done is they've given a removable back panel. So on the removable back panel, the battery is replaceable. Also, it's got a micro SIM card slot to it and a SD card storage as well. The display is brilliant. The colors come out very good when you're playing games, when you're watching videos on the phone. And they've put a few nitty gritty apps on the phone as well. Like what you get is a universal remote feature. They call it the LG Quick Remote. And what you can do with it is that you can integrate all your home appliances onto this phone. So it kind of acts like a universal remote and it just not gives you LG brands. It also gives you other brands such as Samsung, such as Hitachi, for your air conditioning, for your set-top boxes, for your audio players, for your televisions at your home. They've got a dual recording feature in it. So if you go to the video recording mode of it and you want to capture image from both the rear and the front camera, all you have to do is just go to settings and put it on dual recording and what you'll get is a small thumbnail of the front camera recording and the rear camera recording and if you want to swap cameras all you have to do is tap on the thumbnail and the camera swap automatically it runs a android 4.2.2 jelly bean operating system the phone is a little bit late in the market because for 42,000 rupees you also get other smartphones like the samsung galaxy s4 and the htc one which are doing very good in the market but no doubt a promising phone and on our antutu benchmark test it scored somewhere about 16,742 which is decent for a smartphone like this you can kind of skip it as well because you have better options in the market but hey if you are an LG enthusiast and you like the way how they make the Nexus phones well you should definitely go for this